you know what time of the month it is? It, it depends what you mean by month, because like, I don't exactly upload every month. <laughs> In all serious, no. Do you know what time of the month it is? It's PC building time. Well, the intro. Click on zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Ah, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Hopefully this time I fixed the mic and doesn't sound absolutely like fucking shit. But um enough enough of this bullshit, seriously. Um so today we're building another computer. Um big fucking surprise there. But um as you probably read from the title. So yeah, I've also changed up GPU. So basically the GPU that I use depends on the rig that I build. Smart. But um, today we're building a computer featuring a, let's put it this way, one of those weird, like, common but not but rare graphics cards that not a lot of people use. Yeah, the power consumption is too high or this or that. I don't know, it's just a weird, weird card. Um, and it also sits in a really weird position. It sits right between the GTX 1050 Ti and the GTX 1060. It's like smack bang in the middle. Like, I don't know any other card that sits perfectly in the middle of the store. I, I, I just don't know any other color that does that. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the uh, you know parts montage and build montage and then the FPS, and I'll come back to you at the end of it. So without further ado, roll the montage.
Alrighty, so as you saw from the parts montage, uh, we featured a GTX 680. Um, and to be completely honest, I really liked working with this car. I don't know why. There's just something about those Asus cards from like back in the day that I remember seeing them all the time on like eBay and stuff, going for like 75, 100 bucks. When I was younger, mind you, that, this is when like you know HD 6950s and 70s were actually still. Quote unquote, this this is back when the R9 like 280X cards like those cards were like the top of the top. I still remember like I think it was GTX 7 7 the 7000 series. I think it was when the R9 series came out. I think no, I think it was the nine it was the nine series nine series hundred percent because then the 10 series came out and that was like a big revelation in the universe, you know. But yeah, no, no, it was uh, the 10 series. But um, so it, with this GPU, I liked it very much. It looks very nice. I adored the type of stance it just had in the case. Um, and it was just just a nice GPU to work with. It was also a really nice case and the fans as well to work with. Um, I did indeed end up switching out the fans as you probably saw. I went out, originally I started out with these fans which were three three pin header, you know, normal, normal ones are used for fans with the motherboard. Unfortunately, the motherboard has this weird issue, or at least these H61 motherboards from Gigabyte have this really weird issue with the latest BIOS, I believe it is. They just don't want to give uh, the full voltage or full amps, I guess. To, 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 to the three pin of the fan, like after a while it'll boot up into, it basically give you it, but from the start, it won't do it. They'll spin up to 100% and they'll ramp down and then they'll just die, they just won't even bother spinning, no color, no nothing. Don't know why it does that, but it just does that. It's, so, it's such a weird thing, I'll show you with another rig I've got there, it's such a weird thing. Um, so I decided to end up switching to an all, another Allzai kit from the same you know vendor that I have here locally. Um, and uh, that one had a little uh, inbuilt, uh, what's it called, controller, which everything plugged into, and that worked absolutely fine. The fans just worked without any issues, and it looked really hella good. Like the PC genuinely looked so good. That case is such a beauty to work in. It's just so so good. It's just one. These are probably one of the best PCs I've sold, hands down. One of the most beautiful rigs I've ever built in my life. I loved it, absolutely loved it. And um, ironically, I actually got the GPU right before the whole mining craze started. Now I doubt anyone would really buy a 580 for 680 for mining, but um, it was bought right before that when GPUs, you know, went exactly looking fucking spastic. Um, and mind you, it was very good value for FPS. 50 bucks for a GPU like that, that sits between a 1050 Ti and a 10, shut the fuck up. And a 1060, shut up. I'm not complaining at all for 50 bucks. Um, also the, what's it called? The case was super easy to build in. And, uh, it, like I already said, it was an absolute beauty to work in. It was absolutely beautiful to work in. Um, so yeah, if you're ever gonna buy the, whatever cases that one is, <laughs> 
Uh, shut the fuck up. It's shut the fuck up. It's a very very nice rig, and I 100% recommend. In fact, what I'm probably gonna do with my rig, because I actually have to still build my rig. My rig's not finished. I still have a bunch of hard drives and more components to add into my rig. Um, also, also about the CPU cooler, because that one's been retarded. Um, and we're just gonna completely redo my PC. Um, so that's gonna be hella hella interesting to do. Um, so yeah, without further ado, thank you for having watched. I hope you enjoyed this rig. Um, this this video, I genuinely enjoyed building this. This video was one of the funnest videos I've had building a computer it was generally just i don't know just a breath of fresh air i guess like i guess i genuinely do case the cases really do make a difference <laughs> one of the most important parts in a pc hands down is the case i don't care it's the case in fact if you look at it most of my rigs the case is the most expensive part of the build <laughs> so uh yeah no to do thank you for watching the video hope you enjoyed it i hella did and uh, i guess i'll see you next week see you guys